Once upon a time, there were people that went to go buy Google Pixel phones, and then there was a guidebook that told you how to use them. So <laughs> this is a really interesting story. I feel like it's Raiders of the Lost Ark 2022, and we're just now finding out about these lost manuscripts of Google, because apparently they have these things called guidebooks that explain basically everything there is to know about Google anything. And I don't know why this was never really touted before, never really thrown out there. I don't know why they couldn't have a lecture series on this. I mean, we could sit here and do some nightly readings and learn about the different things, but you can go there. It's actually guidebooks.google.com. And I just learned about this today. And they have them set up. They have lessons where you can go through and they'll teach you how to use things like Google Maps, Google Drive, Google Manage Your Data Usage, Google Storage, Google Pixel Phones, Google on iPhone, how to use the Google Assistant. So if you ever wanted to learn more about using your Google products, go to guidebooks.google.com. And apparently it was highlighted apparently today here, Google Pixel. And we're going to go through and I'll show you. It's got everything. Get to know the Google Pixel. And I think that this is important because a lot of people don't understand what is special about Pixel phones. Other than the fact that it's made by Google, they make Android, they got some nice call blocking stuff on there with the voice, with the call assistant and they do some translation stuff, but what really do you get with a Google phone? So I think this could answer some of those fundamental questions, but also help you to learn how to use some of these services, how to take advantage of and use some of the Google things like Google Drive, Google Maps, Google Duo, Google Assistant. Go There's so much stuff that's inherently in the Android operating system when it comes to using a Pixel. And it's neat, you can go down here and change your phone settings quickly, how to do that, how to get started with your new Pixel, get to know 5G on your Pixel, guides on transfer your data, lessons on switching from Android to your Pixel phone, switch from an iPhone to a Pixel phone, there's more lessons on here, explore your phone, get around on your Pixel phone, how to use it, begin the lesson, and when you go in there, it walks you through this stuff step by step. And this is something that's really important because we have a whole lot of new people in the Pixel family. We have people that have come over who have come over from iPhone. We have people who have come over from Samsung. People have come over from BlackBerry, from LG, lots of different places. It seems like the Google Pixel phones are kind of this migrating platform where it feels safe enough because it's Google. It's not overly expensive like the $1,000 Samsung and iPhone different devices you can get out there. So I think there's a lot to offer here. Of course, they've also had kind of a legendary camera setup ever since they came out. So there are a lot of appealing reasons. And I think inherently people know some of that stuff, but then too, they may not know exactly how to, all the good things that you can take advantage of while using a Google phone. So I wanted to check this out. We'll walk through some of this real quick, but I just thought that it was really fantastic I don't know why they didn't talk about this before. I would have loved to talk about this when the Pixel 6 came out. I would have been telling people, or even the Pixel 5 before, the Pixel 5a, the Pixel 4a. I've been a part of Team Pixel for a long time. This has never come up. So I don't know why. I guess they, somebody was sitting around saying, hey guys, you know we got the guidebooks. <laughs> we can be teaching people all about how to use our new phones. And I think that that's good. Here, change wallpaper on your Pixel. That's a lesson. Change ringtone. Install apps, get to know your apps, change settings quickly. And then you can click on view all lessons and you can have a look at all of them. Optimize your life, lessons on how to use Google Assistant on a Pixel phone. Set up a routine on your Pixel phone. Set up Live Translate, that's a really important one people need to know how to use. Use Live Translate. Let Google Assistant wait on hold for you. That's a very important one. Use Direct My Call. There's so many different things on here that you can learn about the nuanced detail of your Google phone and how you can take advantage of it, how you can go through and learn how to use all these services and maximize your experience. You can feel more comfortable using it. You can learn different things you didn't know about before. It's like having a Google library full of Google books. So I wanted to talk to you guys about it and show this off real quick. This is not gonna be a long video, but I thought this would be helpful because we have new people that have hopped on board with the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro that really attracted a lot of people this year, especially with the sales recently. The Pixel 6a pre-order starts on the 21st. It starts shipping and you can pick one up on the 28th. And then we've got the Pixel Buds Pro. We've got the Pixel Watch coming in a few months, the Pixel 7. So I think this is a great time for people who want to put their nose in the digital books and learn about these different software and services because everybody knows so much when it comes to iPhone. Everybody knows about all this crazy stuff on iPhone and people know about One UI and Samsung, 
but I feel like there's really not a wealth of knowledge in the consumer brain database where people go, okay, I'm going to get my Google phone and this is what I'm going to do because Google is synonymous with Android. So everyone just assumes that if you pick up a Pixel phone, other than the call assistant and maybe the translator and the voice of text, which is pretty darn good, I think a lot of people assume that it's just another Android phone. And Google Pixel phones are not just another Android phone. They are the Android phone. Everything else is a copy. Everything that's out there is based off of the Android platform that Google has developed and made. And then they do their own constructs of implementation. So you looked at LG, they had their own UI. You look at OnePlus, they've got Oxygen OS, Hydrogen OS, all that stuff, especially when you look at the other brands. And then you look at Samsung One UI. You've got the new Nothing user interface with the Nothing brand phones. All that is is just different layers on top of the stock Android experience to make it look and feel different for their own brand. So Google brings a lot of different things to the table that may be disambiguated onto another phone and captured in another way by another app that someone else makes. And you could even refer to that in some instances as bloatware. Some people think that most of One UI is bloatware because they make their own apps on top of what Google already has. And people use that because it's, of course, it's a Samsung app, but it may be unnecessary. So diving in and looking at this, this is a great way to educate yourself, empower yourself, and you can learn to take the most advantage of your phone, which is you should be a master. It's just like your car. If you get in your car and drive it, you don't just turn the ignition on and then use the windshield wipers and the air conditioner knob. You need to know where the hazard light is. You need to know how to change the brake fluid or at least check the brake fluid level. You need to be able to check your oil. You need to be able to add windshield wiper fluid. You need to know how to use the XM radio if you've got a subscription. Uh, you could have sit things sitting there that are a gold mine that could be a great app or service on your Google Pixel phone and you're not even taking advantage of it. Like letting the phone stay on hold for you. Isn't that nice? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Go ahead and take a look at it just like you looked at my Mario hat earlier. This is the one. This is uh, actually got the little raccoon ears on it. I picked this one up a while back. I am the author on the Mario hat. So if you see other Mario hats out on the internet, those guys are imposters. But there are some great guys, especially my buddy Pucky. He makes a lot of great content. He's also a fellow Mario hat wearer. And then another friend of mine whose name is Carl, who makes Caseborn, formerly also with Armadillo Tech, if they're still making that stuff. Anyway, he's trying to copy and imitate me right now with his wearing the same hat. So I don't know. Might have to get my legal team after him. But... This right here is a seal of approval in the tech world. If you see someone with a Mario hat, generally, they're good people and they make good content. So check those guys out and uh, just having some fun here. But definitely check out the Google guidebooks. Again, guidebooks.google.com. And I'll have a link to that down in the description. You can check it out. Hopefully it helps you. Hopefully you find something cool. Come back and leave a comment with something new that you learned or you're excited you found in the Google guidebook. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please go down in the comment section. I will get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.